Hello YouTube, welcome to the Super Heavyweight YouTube channel um, and we're going to be kicking this off with playing uh, Master League uh, and we're going to choose Arsenal, as you can imagine Arsenal aren't doing so well and therefore um, I'm going to play with them to see if we can get them back to their glory days so without further ado we're going to get into it and start playing Master League um, so let's choose the team uh, again make sure you like comment subscribe turn on the post notification bell uh, we're going to try and get episodes out every day so let's choose Arsenal as you can see that's the squad um, they have a pretty decent team um, however I think I'm going to try and play this as if I'm the actual manager of the club so let's choose our manager as you can see there's quite a few managers here but I'm going to go with the uh, one and only Diego Maradona, one of my favourite ever players. Um, if you haven't seen him, please do go check him out. So let's choose Diego. Right, so what kind of attire do I want? Uh, let's go with sportswear. I'm more of a sportswear uh, person, so need to be relaxed um, and ready to coach. So let's change the uh, general settings. Um... I will do salary as annual. It's match level. Let's try to do the best possible one. So at this moment in time, it's superstar. Uh, I know you can do legend mode, but I don't seem to have it at the moment. Maybe it's because I need to start playing. Uh, of course, one thing I love about Master League is, is if you're the manager and the chairman, everything in one. So I'm going to do it every day because that's one of the fun things about doing Master League. So let's change that to every day. It only happens when transfer negotiations take place. So let's get into it then. So Master League with Arsenal. We're going to try and get episodes out every day. Um, so please do uh, support this uh, YouTube channel and efforts. So let's go. Diego walking into the club offices. Players meeting him, Aubameyang and uh, David Luiz. As I said, I'm going to try and play as if I'm um, playing it in real life. Um, and probably a lot of changes that need to happen. But we'll see how it goes. So I'm excited. Uh, please join along for the journey. And let's get this going. Like I say, we're going to be changing the game and taking over. One of my favourite games is uh, Pro Evolution Soccer. Um, I'd say it's very realistic. And if you're playing in real life. So let's get this started. Um, what I'm going to do first. Oh, we've just got to go through a few of these uh, settings. I uh, won't keep the video too long. Uh, as it's the first video. So let's discuss the season's objectives. Win the league with Arsenal. I think that's a, a stretch too far. So let's see what the options are. As I said, there's going to be a lot of changes. Um, I agree. We should make it into the UEFA Champions League. Finish top half of the league. Now, the reason I'm going to select that instead of making it into the Champions League where Arsenal should be aiming to go is simply because of um, the fact that I'm probably be going to try and get a lot of new players shift out a lot of the old players not because they're not good enough but I just think a fresh change and a fresh approach to this so let's go for eighth position or higher however as I said uh, I will be trying to get into the Champions League spots but of course if I don't at least that doesn't jeopardize my position I've got a lot of uh, people in mind that I want to purchase and a lot of players that I want to sell uh, of course we'll do that at some point probably in the next episode whereas with this episode I'll just set the team up and um, uh, play one match and then uh, take from there let's just get the first ever YouTube video for the super heavyweight YouTube channel up and running and then we can take everything slowly after that as I said I'm new to this um, whole YouTube situation and stuff so we'll see how it goes so meet the press Diego looking immaculate as always with an aura looks like he's not messing about 
congratulations on becoming the new manager. There will be much competition for the league title this season. How do you fancy your chances at winning the league in your first year? Well, we will win this title. We need to respect the other team. We're far from favourites. So that's what I'll choose. We're far from favourites. Um, That's it. However, I have a plan in place to put us in contention to contend for silver, silverware for years to come. So that's the plan. As I said, I'm going to try and um, do as best as I can. But of course, try and get into the Champions League. Now, what type of football do you want to play this season? Well, if you're Diego Maradona, you're going to play in amazing football and put on a show. However, I think with this Arsenal team, they've got a lot of talent, but I want to see them play hard put in that effort and um, make sure that they put the work in and then their uh, ability will shine through so let's get that going play hard and that's going to be a reflection on some of the players that I'm looking at of course not too expensive um, but uh, will hope, hopefully add value to their team. So let's get started. Welcome to Master League. So you've got the forward time, time management, all the options at the top. So go into manager's office, check out some of the messages. Right, congratulations on your appointment, training regime, which I need to set up at some point, but probably in the next um, episode, scouting activities. As I said, I normally search for my own players and hopefully we'll do... Um, a whole YouTube video just on that because I know that's the most exciting part as well as playing the game. All right, manager of career, some of the fixtures and the season objectives. So let's get into team management and let me do the gameplay. So I'm going to set a formation of what I want to do and then following that we'll try to purchase players. So let's go. Let's get into this. <coughs> So the 4-2-3-1, I'm happy with that formation. Now, of course, for me, Lacazette, who's playing up top, I'd rather go with Aubameyang because I think he's probably one of the best players. So always go with your best players in their best positions. Um, in this particular um, Master League series, uh, I'm going to make Ozil the captain because essentially um, he's one of the best players in the world, my favourite player. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section but um, everything's going to work around him essentially and so therefore as you can see setting him up to be everything penalty taker can be there and Mustafi well I need to make some of those changes but as I said Ozil everything's going to work around Ozil I said Ozil as I said you've got a world class playmaker and you need to make sure that to, he's utilized so let's get the squad so we've got Martinelli which I'm going to change for Pepe just to inform you all the players and everything teams kits were set up um, by going on PES Universe so a big thank you to them who were able to set um, provide us with the option file so PES Universe if anyone's interested get it out there so as I said it's a pretty good team actually I'm quite impressed I'm a big fan of Torreira, so I'm going to put him in and I'm going to go with two defensive midfielders for now um, in terms of putting that through. So let's go there, left back, Said Kolasinac. So again, look, that's a very, very good team to be honest. Um, but as I said, uh, as I'm going to uh, try and play this game as if it's happening in real life, and I think. A lot of changes in the squad need to take place, more more so to freshen it up. But again, as that's a pretty good team. You've got Turney there as well, so let's stick him in somewhere for Saka. A lot of these guys will probably end up going on loan, um, and a few of the players will probably end up maybe getting sold. So let's put Chambers somewhere in the main squad. Let's get Nelson out there. So. Pretty much that's the first ever. In fact, to be honest, I could actually play with this first 11. Look at the stats and so forth. But as I said, I want to bring in my own players. Let's do some of the tactics. So attack information. We're going to play possession game. Um, keep the ball as much as possible. Go down 
the wide areas uh, to even get crosses in or just to make the pitch as wide as possible defensive instructions now we're going to go with all out defense rather than um, doing the front line pressure happy with that let's have a look at these deep defensive line yep full backs and I also normally go to support settings and I like to do the auto attack um, so change attack and defense levels and I prefer to have the auto offside trap so that's pretty much that done uh, that's the squad what I'll do uh, again in the next episode is probably um, go into negotiations decide who's um, going to be sold from my team etc so as you can see a couple of them players this is Socrates 85 only market value of 16 million um, so I need to think carefully about who I sell because I want to try and maximize the amount of money I get for them but as I said let's just make sure that um, we're able to get the most for our players uh, again I'll be going into advanced search uh, in the next episode to start choosing the positions that I want as you can see I've made uh, Lacazette a second striker because um, if I was to make him a left winger his overall rating is only 79 so um, it's all about scoring goals so look at that front four I have to say very impressive two defensive midfielders very happy with so without further ado let's get into playing a game and then let's see how this is again we've got it on the hardest level at this moment in time which is superstar oh not Atletico Madrid I always play the friendlies um, this is just so that uh, whatever new people that we have we can try and embed them into the squad get them used to it but can I make a suggestion that our R Nelson to play most likely I'll try and give everyone uh, some minutes on the pitch but of course um, I want to try and get my team used to playing together so that may not always be possible uh, very excited to get this started off so let's play the first match before I do I just want to make sure we are on the hardest level so let's just go into general settings and just quickly check yep everything looks good there um, not used to doing this sort of talking whilst um, playing at the same time but just quickly go and make sure everyone's looking good pretty much yeah happy with that just make sure if there's anyone missing in there nah it looks good happy with that and uh, let's kick this off quite excited um, I know it's going to be very difficult but uh, let's try and play as I said this first time I've even done a YouTube video so please do support this channel and um, I play this game as if one day I could uh, purchase my own football club uh, that would be the goal I don't know if the commentary is actually coming in, so this is a case of um, trial and error method. Maybe you can hear the commentary sound um, going in, so if that is the case and we can hear it probably when I upload the video, then I won't be talking during the matches, but uh, for today, I may just have to um, give my own commentary. So let's get this started. Right, so I'm just going to go and do the camera settings. I usually go with wide. Uh, I zoom out and I put the height to 10. So that's that. So let's get that possession football. Knock it around. Try to create the chances. Also, let me know who you think I should keep, who I should sell. If you got any ideas, put that through. Any players I should consider purchasing? Let me know. So of course, uh, Aubameyang's going nowhere. Nor is Ozil. Messi, Ozil. We're going to build the team around him. He's the main man. Look at that great tackle. Let me know what you think of my playing stuff. 
Especially Edison, I'm playing on the most difficult level, so it's not going to be easy not walk in the park. It's a big fan of Torriero, I know Gwen Doozy was in the team uh, originally when these settings were there. Oh, come on. <coughs> I have to say, I'm very impressed with the actual first 11 of Arsenal, uh, on the game at least. Um, they've got some exceptional stats. Ooh. So as I said, we're going to be changing the game and taking over. Let's try and spread it wide. First ball in the box. Cause a bit of a mayhem. Oh! I think I'm having the better of this. There's Ozil. Let's see if he can create anything. Oops. Need the runners. If you're not going to have the runners for him, well, then he can't show his true. Uh, skills obviously being from London that's the reason why I've chosen Arsenal as well um, try and get them back up to where they were oh, I thought I had that there Sometimes I feel I should play that long pass forward early over the top for the striker but just wanted to make sure that uh, I have the ball. At least that way I know the opponents won't score because this is the more challenging level. But I think I've done well. That's it, get him boys. Bit of a Man City approach there. Not playing too well at the moment. But of course it's a first match, friendly. I'm thinking of uh, getting a new centre back as well. There you go. Oh. That's why sometimes I don't like playing those through balls because there's not a guarantee that uh, I can hit them all the time. Aubameyang I don't think has got into the game. I need to get ready get him into the game. There you go, that's my boy. Look at that. Oh. I think I've had the better of the game though. Knocking the ball around. Haven't created any chances as of yet, but uh, I'm actually happy with the way things are going at the moment. What I try and do is. Uh, There you go, Bamiang. Let's get a nice ball in there. Oh! Just needs to get on the end of that, but at least we're causing some mayhem in that Atletico defense. I think we're on top here, but we need to make it count. David Luiz, my playmaker at the back. I know a lot of people aren't always a big fan of him, but I'd say I always like having that defensive midfielder <laughs> need to hold that ball up but as I said having that playmaker at the back who can ping those long passes um, sometimes I always think I should buy daily blind reminds me of Frank the ball right nil nil not really much happened in that game but again I'm just getting used to the team uh, not all of these players I'd probably want but we just need to go through that process it's been a bit of a t I thought I had more possession than that but oh well 52% possession 45 passes attempted we'll probably make a few substitutions as well give everyone a run out as I said 
Let me know what you think, how the game's going. Just slow the game down a bit, let's get a few passes. Oops. Slow the ball down. Just slow it down a bit. I, mean, I like to have two strikers and of course in Lacazette and Aubameyang I've got some of the best strikers in the world but uh, for now I'm just going to go with this 4-2-3-1 system that allowed me to get the best out of Messi Ozil oh, what a goal get in there Old Bami and one chance. In fact, that's the first chance of the game. Again, playing superstar, um, difficulty level. But I think we've done really well. And uh, I know I said to the chairman that we're going to try and get eighth or above. But of course, uh, I'm going to try and hopefully get into the Champions League spots. But as I said, there's going to be a lot of changes going on. Bit fortunate there, but what a finish. Um, and that's why I put. Aubameyang up top rather than on the left as he was originally in the game settings just because my best uh, player or one of my best players should I say because in my opinion Messi Ozil is the best in this team you don't get a player with that type of calibre just need to get the best out of him and give him the best players to play with or at least players that work around him which is oh get a bit too excited there lost concentration there for a minute but let's get back onto it I mean like someone like Jacker again amazing player um, however I'm not sure if I'll keep him big fan of him oh getting that crossing but someone like him I think fresh start somewhere else get someone else into the team so there could potentially be a good 10 transfers if I can get them over the line if I can sell the players first and foremost which is what I intend to do oh. Come on, Pepe. He looks a good player. Young as well. So the way I'm going to go about things is probably see this out first. Make sure we don't uh, concede because I'd go absolutely nuts. What's my sense about doing out there? Oops. Tactical foul there. Let's get everyone back. And after this, we'll probably make some subs. Go man to man. Right, while it's there, let's get some subs in. So, as I said, I like to pretty much have two different teams for the club competitions. Um, and I'm going to give some of the players. I know Cedric should probably go right back. Let's get Mustafi on there. Let's at least change the centre backs. Give them all a go because, as I said, some of these players probably will get sold or at least put on the. Um, transfer list let's get this Kabayas on as well but let's change them to centre mids and I'm probably going to leave the front four because I think that's a very good front four so let's just get those guys on there Kolasinac solid left back I'm going to keep him uh, should have kept that possession but I think we've actually played really well I think to be honest uh, going by this game if we can get a win here I see that David Lewis pass that's what I like about having a playmaker Close you down so fast on this level. 
Bellerin, great tackle. Offside. But what do you think of my gameplay? Let me know what you think. What do you think I should try and improve? I know for one, maybe try and hit some long balls over the top. But uh, as you probably have gathered so, so far, that per, I like to keep the ball. So if I've got it, at least I know there's no way that they're going to be able to just, just change that. What a ball. That's what I like doing. Try and get Ozil on there. I suppose, ideally I'd like to have a defensive midfielder, get a bit of those one-two passes going. Oh. Ooh. A bit of a mistake there in midfield, nearly in there. Sometimes you need things to go your way. Right, let's take a deep breath. So be very careful. One thing I just like to have my own players as well. So I find that more enjoyable. As I say, with a manager, you want your own people in. Scurantini come from Celtic. Ref foul. A few minutes to see this game out for our first victory as manager. Holding knocks her out wide. Absolutely run down the clock. But I'd rather have the ball in the area. Let's get back to the keeper and then knock it wide. Knock it long. What a victory. Great stuff. Aubameyang with the one chance. Clean sheet king as well. That's a great result. Got a trophy there as well. So, as the first match on uh, YouTube, hopefully um, you all enjoy that. Great victory, one 0 and hopefully we can uh, get this uh, master league started and uh, perform exceptionally well. Hopefully you can come along with the journey. We'll try and get episodes out every day. I'm um, not doing much in this uh, current climate that we have with this COVID-19, but again, pretty decent performance from the team. Managed to get a few people on there as well, but as I said, uh, look at that front four. Ozil, Pepe, Lacazette, Aubameyang, the two defensive midfielders, I have to say, solid. And the centre-backs haven't been bad. So we've got a lot, a lot to work on um, in terms of changing things up. So, top of the table at the moment. Um, so what I'll do is, everybody, uh, once again, thanks for watching this video. Uh, Please do join this Master League series with Arsenal and let's try and get them to where they used to be, possibly fighting for the title, which is going to be extremely difficult. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell because we're going to try and get episodes out every day. I don't know how long this video has gone on for, uh, but what we'll do is in the next episode, uh, there's my star player, or the smart player they call him now, Messi Ozo and Maradona. What a combination that is but as i was saying uh, we're gonna try and get episodes out every day and the next episode we'll probably just go through putting players on the transfer list um seeing if we can sell them and exploring players that we can buy so we'll take from there so thank you so much for watching like i said we're changing the game and taking over and um see you soon